Hi Forest fans, Max Newton here giving you a quick preview of Nottingham Forest at home to Brentford at the world famous city ground. Um, I think the penultimate game of the weekend so we'll know um, how everybody else has done and we'll know uh, to what position we can rise or fall as a result of the games over the weekend and I expect us to rise. Um, I think uh, Brentford are a difficult team, they keep the ball, they've got some really good players I think um, obviously Tony's not there, um, but uh, and Bueno is a is a really quality player and dangerous and pa fast and pacey, and um, I like the look of uh, Sharda Sharde or Shardy, as uh, as our Chris from Big Brother One would call him. Nominate Shardy, and um, I think they've got they've got pace um, and quality in abundance throughout the throughout the team. So it is a difficult game, but you know we showed last season that um, we can match them and we should have been the last season. We were absolutely robbed by a ludicrous VAR decision. Um, so I expect to be eating my cheese and beetroot cobs at half-time with Forrest 1-0 up and I think roll out a 2-1 win um, with goals from um, uh, Morgan Gibbs-White getting on the score sheet for the first time this season. And um, I think Callum Hudson-Odoi, I think... Uh, Riding the crest of the wave of his debut uh, at home to the week, and what a debut that was! Um, but I think uh, the side. I think um, I think defensively, we need to have positional sense and pace as much as possible at the back. So I expect Tavares to play left back, uh, injury pending, and Serge Aurier right back. And um, I think it needs to be. I I go Joe Worrell and Felipe. Or Felipe and Nikate in the centre in the two, because um, I think it. I think Felipe. This is exactly the sort of game where we need Felipe for his positional sense and his quality. Um, it's imperative that we keep the ball when we don't give the ball away. Um, so I think midfield. I think Sangare will play. I'd like to see Ryan Yates play. Really disappointed that you know Yates has not started the last two games. And I think we really missed Ryan Yates. Ryan Yates. Um, in the last home game against Burnley and made a difference when he came on as he had done in previous games. Um, so Yates and Sangare, Morgan Gibbs-White, Alanga, hudson Adoy, and Awoni up front. And uh, hopefully we send Brentford back to a sort of toy town in West London um, with their manager complaining that, oh, we won the game on XG, we won the game 5-0 on XG and all that nonsense. But as we know, football's not played in XG, football's played on the pitch with the ball going in the back of the onion bag, um, not on a computer. So, um, you know, stick that one in your pipe, uh, Thomas Frank. And um, yeah, hopefully a really good day. Um, in the morning, I'll have been refereeing Nate's side, uh, Abbey Lane. Um, so I'm now a fully qualified referee. So, um, you know, expect some quality uh, referee based insight uh, from me on this channel in the future. Um, because as we know, you know, referees always get it right. So come on, you Reds.